Hello everyone, and a good day to all of you. I wanted to take a little bit of time today to just explain the concept of muzzle sparking when you're using a titanium suppressor. And the suppressor I'll be using to demonstrate this concept and the one that you saw in that intro footage right just there that had a pretty big issue with sparking is this Sig Sauer SLH762 TI QD FDE. And that huge word salad just means that this is one of their newer line of suppressors. It's the uh, titanium version of it and uh, just has an FD zero code, which doesn't actually make a difference for the sparking. So first, to understand the issue of what does cause that spark, um, so it's due to baffle erosion, something that's inherent to every suppressor. However, the reason that titanium suppressors in particular have that issue, and especially this one, uh, there's a few things to the design of this particular suppressor that make it worse, um, but it's just the titanium as you fire, and that first baffle erodes, uh, a lot of that titanium dust, just, you know, microscopic amount, but as it goes out the end of your muzzle, you can see it, and it just looks like a sparkler, it ignites. Uh, now, the reason that this suppressor in particular has such an issue with it is that this is a flow-through, or a reduced back pressure suppressor. So, you can see right there, of course, you have your center hole, of course, for the bullet to pass through, but then you have all these little side holes for excess gas to be ported out. And with that gas, it also carries some of that microscopic dust, but just a little bit further out. So you see a ton of sparking, which I do want to point out is slightly different from your conventional muzzle flash. It's still a flash signature, don't get me wrong, but it's not unburnt powder that you're seeing out there. It's not your traditional gigantic amount of flame that you might see on something short, like a 10 3 inch barrel, like this one. And just in case you are wondering, I, as an aside, I have seen a very comparable amount of sparking regardless of if this is shot from an 18 inch barrel a 16.5 or yeah this 10.3 pretty much a linear curve you'll see a little bit more sparking from this shorter barrel but either way there is a lot of spark so most likely if you're watching this you might be asking yourself is there any ways to mitigate that sparking with a titanium suppressor so the short answer is not really there's a few ways you can make it a maybe a little bit less it really more so depends on how the suppressor itself has been constructed and then once you have it once you're an end user of it there's not a whole lot you can do to really change it uh, one thing you could do so i'm just using a flash hider you could potentially cut down a little bit on the spark up by using a sacrificial baffle so something like a muzzle brake instead for your adapter but that's not going to completely cut down on the baffle erosion, which as I said, that is the crux of the issue. That's why you get all that spark up. So it's going to cut it down, but you're still going to see what I would say is an unacceptable amount of sparking. Some other options you have, not really something you have available to you as an end user, but uh, if you're looking at titanium suppressors and you don't, you know, you don't have one yet, uh, some things that a few of the suppressor manufacturers do is uh, if they make the first baffle out of a different material, uh, it might potentially erode even quicker if they use something like stainless, but then you'll have a lot less of that sparking. However, if everything else on the suppressor is titanium, you'll still see some. Additionally, some things that make it worse, as I said already, the flow-through design, because that's literally pushing out a lot more just that microscopic titanium dust, which is then just much more visible out there. If you're insisting on using a titanium suppressor and you're worried about the flash, um, yeah, you could kind of cut down on that by not using a flow through design. And another aspect that makes the flash a little bit worse is uh, the overall machining process, or uh, in this case, 3D printed. So you get a lot more dust that will just blast out from here as you shoot it compared to just depending on how they built it, if they welded it together on like a lot of the older suppressors. Additionally, one thing to note while I am talking about dust and all that, Usually, when you do first get a titanium suppressor, you will see more sparks uh, just because, you know, there's some leftover just from the manufacturing process that will get quickly blasted out, but it will never completely go away. In the case of this suppressor, I'm getting close to 10,000 rounds on it, and you can see there's still a gigantic amount of sparking. So I didn't ever record the initial amount of spark up because back then I was just shooting this during the day pretty much all the time. Um, so I imagine it was way worse then, but yeah, you'll still have it pretty much all the time. There are apparently, I don't fully know this for sure, but there are apparently some coatings that the manufacturers can put on the titanium baffles themselves to make the spark up a little bit. Not as bad either. Suffice to say, if you're looking at a titanium suppressor for a defensive rifle or just a night rifle that you're gonna be shooting a lot with night vision, 
then I would just say to absolutely avoid titanium. This is something I didn't really realize myself until after the fact because uh, a lot of the marketing for titanium suppressors just they really focus on the uh, the lightweight of it. But um, yeah, there's a lot of downsides actually of it too. So I would just say for that sort of use case, night or defensive rifle, to just go with something in canal, stainless steel, whatever, just not uh, nothing titanium. Stick with all steel or all in canal components. If you are looking for a suppressor just to keep it a little bit quieter though, for something like a hunting rifle, something like this works totally fine. Hopefully, someone out there found this informative. Like I said, I kind of wish I would have known this prior to getting a titanium suppressor myself because I was not aware of it. If you have anything else to add, your own experiences or any other additional feedback on this video, we'd love to hear it in the comments below. I always look forward to hearing that from you. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hope to see you all in the next one. See you then.